Looking at her now, you might never suspect that Tanya has Parkinson's disease, an often debilitating movement disorder. I was at work and I was writing on a piece of paper and I noticed that I was having some trouble with the pen. Um, making out letters and numbers was difficult for the first time ever and it just was so different that I stopped and thought about it and I thought, what's happening with my hand? Tanya was just 32 years old. Her symptoms continued to get worse and she was misdiagnosed with everything from rheumatoid arthritis to lupus. In 2005, she was referred to UCLA. Then about 20 minutes of seeing the neurologist at UCLA, they diagnosed me with early onset Parkinson's disease. I left that day bawling my head off, crying, driving down the freeway, going home, just scared to death. Parkinson's disease is a degenerative process. There are cells in the brain that are actually dying or degenerating. Parkinson's disease absolutely can be devastating to someone's life. The great thing is that we have excellent medications. So if you have a great neurologist who can prescribe the right medications, it can be life-changing. And if the medications stop working consistently, then we have a great surgical therapy for it as well. Tanya's medications became less and less effective, and over-medicating led to too much movement, or dyskinesia. After intensive testing by a UCLA movement disorders team, including neurologists and neurosurgeons, Tanya was offered a procedure called deep brain stimulation, or DBS. Deep brain stimulation is like a pacemaker for the brain. It's when we put electrodes deep inside of the brain to treat the abnormal activity that we see in Parkinson's disease or whatever other disease we're treating with this therapy. The activity of these circuits will cause some of the motor symptoms of the disease. So by reordering that firing pattern, we can achieve better control. Electrodes were implanted deep into Tanya's brain, with leads trailing to a small battery pack in her chest. It just has to register onto the program itself. A wireless remote allows doctors and the patient to program the device and make continual adjustments. DBS is not a cure for Parkinson's by any means, but it's an additional treatment, it's an additional intervention we can use to manage the symptoms. So with Tanya, with deep brain stimulation, we're really able to give her her life back. She has a more consistent response to her medications, so much so that you can barely tell she even has Parkinson's disease anymore. A few months after the surgery, Tanya is planning a better life with her family. It's helped amazingly. I mean, I am probably about 80% better than I was. I don't have the weakness, the stiffness, my hips don't hurt anymore. I get out of bed in the morning with no problem. And before I literally had to hold on to the railing of my bed and pull myself up. As you can see, I have total control over the pen and I can write. People ask often about a cure for Parkinson's disease and I ask them to reconsider a definition of a cure because if we're able to take that part of your life affected by Parkinson's disease and help keep pe people functioning at a higher level during that time, then that should be considered a cure. I needed to be at my best longer because I have children I'm raising that are all under the age of 18 and I needed to be the best I could be to be around for them. It's made a huge difference in my life.